scams flourishing during pandemic, officer involved shooting in Waukesha kills one, Ryder Cup still on as scheduled. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, April, 20, er, April 16, 2020. The COVID-19 update as of Wednesday afternoon states that Wisconsin now has 3,700 cases of the COVID-19 coronavirus. State health officials on Wednesday confirmed that 3,721 COVID-19 tests in the state have come back positive with 39,326 negative tests. Hospitalized cases stood at 1,091, or around 29% of total cases. The number dead as a, a result of the virus bumped up to 182. Brown County reported 115 cases Wednesday, and Milwaukee County, the center of the state's outbreak, had 1,870 as of Wednesday. Police in Milwaukee area say an armed man was shot dead outside a hospital in Waukesha early Wednesday morning. Officers say that they were called to Waukesha Memorial Hospital at around 1.30 a.m. for a report of a man wielding a gun in the parking lot outside of the emergency room. First responders say they attempted to get the man to drop the weapon, but were uns unsuccessful. He eventually pointed the gun at the officers who shot at him, and he was pronounced dead at the scene. The man's name has not been released, and it is unclear what led him to carry the weapon near the hospital. The Milwaukee area investigation team is looking into the incident, and no officers or hospital personnel were injured in the incident. Scammers are having a holiday during the coronavirus pandemic. According to the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin, and they have, been, they have put together a list of the top six being used now. They include phony cures and fake masks, stimulus check scams, phishing scams that try to get personal information, government impersonations, employment scams, and price gouging due to shortages. The BBB advises people to be extra vigilant and think twice before you act on anything, especially if it seems too good to be true. Many scammers are good at imitating real government agencies or companies, so it is best to verify any directly with them before acting. The worst of times can be turned into an opportunity for good, and Sheboygan author Todd Zimmerman is wasting no time making that good turn. Zimmerman is perhaps best known for his Oliver the Ornament children's books, and his newest book, Oliver Doodle Dandy, is a celebration of America that was planned for release on June 14th, Flag Day. But with homeschooling due to the coronavirus pandemic being the new reality, the book and the companion activity book is being rushed for delivery to teachers for free. Zimmerman is hoping the materials can make the current events a teachable moment, suitable for lessons in U.S. history. The 15-page activity book uses themes from Oliver Doodle Dandy to show that even in difficult times, the American dream is very much alive. Kids can learn speech writing, make collage boards and book reports, and be led through sing-alongs. It might seem that going without work during the coronavirus pandemic is a given, but the executive director of the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation, Joe Sheehan, said that the demand for employees is still an issue for some local employers. Some place better, some place better the C SCEDC's online workforce development tool has identified several county businesses that are actively hiring. 
Those companies include Great Lakes Cheese, Piggly Wiggly Midwest, Johnsonville, at, and Rocky Knoll. Sheehan says that many of the openings require no previous experience and applicants are needed now. A list of companies and job openings is posted and updated regularly at someplacebetter.org. And finally, the U.S. Golf Association and other international organizing bodies have put together a new golf schedule that will move three of the game's majors into the late summer and fall. Along with the cancellation of the sport's oldest tournament, the Ryder Cup, the Ryder Cup still remains unchanged and will be played as scheduled September 25th through the 27th at Whistling Straits. The U.S. Open Championship has been canceled for the first time since World War II due to the pandemic, and few others besides the Ryder Cup are unaffected. The Ryder Cup is expected to draw about 50,000 visitors each day, bringing an estimated $135 million to the regional economy. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.